Hello friends in previous video I was show you how to insert data into my SQL table using object oriented programming concept in PHP. Now in this video I will show you how to fetch data from my SQL table using object oriented programming concept and display in table form on web page in PHP. Friends I have used database class which I have already made in previous video. In this class I have already made a database connection and make function for insert data into my SQL table. Now friends I want to fetch data from my SQL table and display on web page by using object oriented programming concept for this I have make one public function select in database class with one parameter table name. In this function I have defined one variable array with data type also array. In this variable I will store data which are fetched from my SQL table and return this array variable as output of this select function. After this I have defined one new variable query. In this variable I will store my SQL select query like select star from table name here table name is select function parameter. So, this way we can create select query and store into query variable. Now friends I have defined one new variable result. In this variable I will store miscly query result. For getting result first I want to execute select query with help of miscly query function with two parameter one database connection string is equal to dollar this con and second is query which I have store into query variable. So this way can execute select query and store result into result variable. Friends now I have used while loop for fetching all data from result variable. For this I have write while loop with open and close bracket. Between bracket I have write dollar row is equal to miscly fetch a sack function with one parameter my SQL query result like variable result. This function fetches a result row as an associative array. Friends with the help of miscly fetch a sack function we can fetch as result in associative array and store into row variable. Now friends I have want to store all result in associative array into array variable. For this I have write array variable is equal to row. So, now I have store all data into array variable from row variable. Now friends I have simply write return statement with array variable. The return statement immediately ends execution of the current function, and returns its argument as the value of the function call. Now friends I want to implement this function into my test class.php page. On this page I have already include database class and I have already create one object data from this database class. On this page I want to implement select function which I have lastly made. First of all implement select function. First I have defined one HTML table with four table column like post name, post description, edit and delete. Now we are ready to use select function on this page. For this I have defined one variable post data. In this variable I want to store result which we have to get from select function in this form of associative array. So I have write post data variable equal to data object with select function with one parameter table name equal to table post. Friends you can simple print this result to check function return data or not. For this I have write simply print our statement with one parameter post data and check on browser. Friends you can show that all post data variable display all data which get from select function in the form of associative array. Now friends I want to display this table in table format. To display data in table format I have used for each loop with post data as post. Here for each loop fetch one by one row from post data and store that row data into post. So we want to print data into table we simply write post with column name. For example suppose we want to display post title, so I write post with column name post title, 
Same way suppose I want to display post description, so I write post with column name post description. So this way we can print table data on table. Here friends two more table column like edit and delete, this column is for edit and delete post data. For edit column I want to define post edit URL, for this I have write anchor tag with href, and href I want to write edit post link, so I have write test class dot php question mark edit equal to 1 and post it is equal to php opening and closing table and between this tag I have write echo statement with post with column name post id. Friends this way can generate unique edit link for all post. Now friends I have moved the lead column, this is for delete post. For delete post I want to first display message box do you want to delete this with option yes or no. For this I have also used anchor tag with attribute href with hashtag, I have also defined one more attribute like it is equal to php opening and closing table and between this tag I have write echo statement with post with column name posted and I have also defined one more attribute like class is equal to delete. This class selector will use in jQuery code. Now friends I have checked this code output in browser. Friends you can see that all post data are displayed on web page in table full remit with edit and delete button. So, friends this is my video on how to fetch data from MySQL table by using PHP objective oriented programming concept. In next video I will show you how to update MySQL table data by using PHP objective oriented programming concept. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.